Hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. Today we are looking at a new upcoming... of sorts. <laughs> I don't know where exactly or when. A heavy cruiser on the American line, as you can see from the skyline and everything else. This is the USS Salem, the sister ship of the Des Moines. Unlike a lot of the tier 10 ships, uh, the Salem actually existed, just like the... and still does, just like the Des Moines before her. She was completed well after the Second World War, and as such was only in active duty for about 10 years before she was put in reserve, because at the time, you know, heavy cruisers sort of were not uh, required that much anymore. And uh, she was kept there until the 90s, when she was converted, luckily for us, into a museum ship, where she is today, in Massachusetts. So, uh, one more tick for my eventual, <laughs> eventual trip in... Uh, it's on my bucket list to to go through the U.S. museum ships at some point in person. But uh, that is for the far future. For now, we are looking at the Salem in-game. So, uh, USS Salem, how does she compare to the Des Moines? Well, let's take a look. I mean, first of all, she's obviously a premium ship. But uh, what's the difference between the two? Uh, the first thing that stands out is uh, that the rip rapid reload and the defensive AA are the same, but instead of the, rad the radar charge, she gets uh, a sonar charge. That is not necessarily a bad thing, for two reasons. Uh, first of all, yes, radar is very nice uh, if you are dealing with uh, things in smoke. But knowing where the torpedoes are coming from is also a pretty good thing, and it allows, at least in my personal opinion, to swap the uh, steering uh, the, uh, the steering module in slot three for uh, for a concealment module, which is not a terrible choice depending on which server you're playing on. But uh, she doesn't get the Des Moines legacy uh, legacy legendary module, obviously, and the legendary module on the Des Moines gives you an 8% range on the main battery for the cost of a 5% slower reload. That sounds like a lot, but the Des Moines has a 6 second base reload, so that's 0.3 seconds that you're losing, which is not an awful lot. In return, the Salem does get uh, the heavy repair team, which means uh, you recover 75% more from repair kits. This thing can HP tank, which also is a bit of a double-edged sword, but we'll get to that in a minute. So we've got sonar instead of radar, and uh, we we don't get the range extension, but in return we get a super heal. She does have uh, a little bit a little bit less hit points than the Des Moines, but it's not an awful lot. The hull is the same, the guns are the same, the secondaries are the same, but here comes the price that we're paying for the super heal, and that is the AA, because on the Des Moines. Uh, the fun bit about the Des Moines is not the large caliber AA. That's uh, for tier 10, nothing special. The fun bit of the Des Moines is the small caliber AA. Because, for two reasons. Because if we're looking back here, she gets the Def AA uh, 2, uh, which also buffs the small caliber for 100%. And the small caliber has a 3 kilometer range. Which means that the Des Moines is effectively a swimming low fly zone, super uh, topped only by ships like the Wooster which have even, have even more range. Uh, the Salem gets the same Def AA, which doubles the value, so, but she only gets the standard 1.8 kilometer on the small caliber, and she only does about half of the damage on that. So while it's still an okay uh, AA ship, it's nowhere near as deadly as the Des Moines is, which can wipe out a whole carrier strike package, not without taking some damage, but she can wipe it out. Uh, <laughs> these planes don't come back. Uh, so, there's the price that you're paying, really. Uh, and the concealment, again, is the same. So, the, it's almost, I would say, it almost feels more like a black ship, because it's very, very similar, uh, with a, a small twist to it. Now, before we go into the setup, I'm going to have to talk about, uh, well, the Des Moines a little bit in particular, or the Des Moines class of heavy cruisers in, in particular, and uh, the, uh, the question of... Um, the difference is here in more general points. The Des Moines is a primarily an assault cruiser. It's not primarily a support cruiser. She can play some support cruiser things, given her massive AA and the fact that she has the single radar charge. The, 
But mostly you'll be playing the Des Moines next to an island, whereas you would play a Worcester behind the island and just lob shell over it. You play the Des Moines more aggressively next to it because you have two thirds of the guns forward and you are relatively limited in terms of range, which means you have to get uncomfortable close uncomfortably close to enemy ships in order to actually reach them. You can alleviate that somewhat with the unique equipment, but uh, you don't get that in the Salem. The other thing about the Salem is that the super heal that you get can, and at least in my point, has led to a false sense of security in, uh, in the sense of, uh, oh yeah, it's fine if I take a bit of damage, I can just heal it back. The problem is uh, there are things you're in tier 10. There are things like Vermont's out there. If they catch you broadside, they can one shot you and you can't heal that back. <laughs> so yes, you can rebuild the ship from scratch, but only as long as it's still afloat. You can't do that while you're underwater. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, the super heal is good, but needs to be managed correctly. We get back to the uh, to the sonar in, in the captain setup, but uh, what can we... Yeah, we don't need to look at the buffalo. Uh, we can look at the buffalo, actually. I have to open it again. It takes a while because there are many ships here. Uh, just to see what the uh, what the AA comparison is between the two of them. Because the buffalo obviously gets the extra turret. But uh, yes, even the buffalo has better AA than this thing. So, mm, not an AA, not an AA ship by itself. Uh, we do get the choice, well, not great choices. We can either get the damage control center or the bulkhead upgrade, which gives us 1% hit points, which is like, what, 300 hit points. Not worth it, in my opinion. Uh, and uh, uh, we can instead get the 15% uh, up on the fire and flooding resistance, which isn't going to do anything really, but it gets it up to 28%. And it helps a bit, depending on what commander you're, uh, you're sailing, to just reduce the amount of fire damage that you're taking if you are burning or flooding. You get the choice between two different camouflages. The historical camouflage, of which half of it is useful and the other half not. Uh, you get hit points, which is good, uh, because it stacks nicely with the super heals. You get main battery range, which is really what you're after. But instead of something useful like dispersion, uh, you get large caliber AA, uh, AA range, which you don't need because the large caliber AA isn't great. And torpedo damage reduction, which is completely useless to you because you don't have the AA to play a full on uh, anti-air support ship anyway. So uh, it does have the Salem Witch Halloween um, uh, Halloween camo. And uh, yeah, the, in the typical cliched witch <laughs> perception, it's got, uh, it's got pumpkins and bats on it which uh, ha, <laughs> does the exact same thing as the other one. So this is purely cosmetic. Like you really, really, it doesn't matter which one you pick. Well, one looks good and the other one looks a bit silly, but other than that, <laughs> the choice is yours, the values are the same. Uh, still, I would say it's a must have because of the range, because range is really your main problem, especially if you're playing on the Asian server where you actively have to play in front of the destroyer line just to be even in range of anything. So, uh, which tends to normally result in a um, sudden and violent death. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? Yes, let's go. Let's keep going through the equipment. Uh, normally I would be sailing, I mean, obviously by battery mod one, uh, you can go, uh, sorry, main battery mod three, you can go mod, uh, mod one if you want uh, for faster turret traverse, because these turrets, while they're shooting very quickly, don't rotate very quickly. Um, obviously propulsion in two and I, I would normally have been sailing with steering gear mod because with uh, no sonar you have to be very quick in trying to trying to weave between torpedoes when you actually get to spot them especially that uh, in the Des Moines it's often worth getting the battlefield support for an extra for uh, an extra FAA which means you don't have the early torpedo spot in this ship, you get two, uh, you get two sonars with the battlefield support, which means uh, I can actually trade that in for the concealment system, which allows me to not be uh, shot into oblivion. And again, a Vermont can one-shot this ship in full health, no problems. I've been handing out Citadel Crisis medals like no tomorrow <laughs> when I was testing, <laughs> just because I got too cocky and didn't see the, uh, the Vermont uh, targeting me from the other side of the map and uh, or, or overestimated the island hitbox. So, uh, 
Uh, that's an option that you can do, but obviously you can also play with the regular setup. Now, commander-wise, um, here it's where it gets really interesting, because now you have a bit of a conundrum. Now, uh, the battlefield support makes sense, because it gives you a def a uh, the extra def AA and the extra sonar. The air defense expert sort of makes, makes sense as well, because uh, even though the AA isn't great, it's still... You know, you've got four FAA charges, may as well use them. Uh, artillery maintenance makes a lot of sense because it gives you uh, it gives you better dispersion when you're above 75% hit points. And with a ship with a super heal like that, that can do the British print me a new ship sort of thing, or um, like uh, floating dockyard repairs on the fly, you know, you're actually liable to get above 75% hit points for quite a while. Now here, here it's where it gets where it gets uh, where it gets diffi uh, difficult. In uh, level five, usually on a Des Moines, you would be taking the fire supremacy for the extra rapid reload. But the Salem has a super heal, so you really want to stack that with survivalist. Unfortunately, we don't get a survivalist plus captain in the American line, but uh, that's th those fifteen percent extra HP kind of really feels useful. So uh, you do trade a rapid reload for it, though. It's a price you have to pay. And then um, then the Master Reloader skill would make sense. Actually, I have no idea why I haven't put Halsey on the Master Reloader. I should have totally put him on the Master Reloader, not on the Honor Seeker Plus. Halsey is not a good fit for this ship, but then none of the American commanders is really. Uh, none of them has the APCS Plus, which is what you would want. And uh, uh, no, none of the American commanders is a really great fit for the ship. I've just picked Halsey because uh, he's my go-to commander for... Uh, for things that have rapid reloads on them, <laughs> even though I actually forgot to put the master reloader in. But anyway, um, he does have some special skills other than that. But a normal commander, you would definitely build for APCS and for uh, for reload. The tricky question is uh, extra rapid reload or extra hit points. I would go extra hit points on the Salem, whereas on the Des Moines, I would go for an extra rapid reload. And yes, um, do make the effort, if you have them, to put the advanced repair kit in a ship. You don't necessarily need the damage control, but at least the advanced repair kit, because the regular heal gives you 14% and the advanced gives you 16 So that makes a difference in combination, not too much in normal circumstances, but in com combination with a super heal and a, um, a survivalist build on the captain, it does, it does make a noticeable difference. All right, uh, the Salem. We are going to get two games, and it's a basically a Des Moines, so I'm going to be playing it like a Des Moines, and I just have to rem remind myself that, yes, that you have a super heal, but the super heal only works on the surface, not submerged. First round, obviously tier 10. We're playing Domination on Haunted Seas against the Black Colombo, Lion, Wooster, Yodo, and the Shimakaze. Now this is with the regular commander, so uh, non-premium heal, uh, regular free camo, no range extension, uh, no APCS, and uh, but I did have the master reloader in for at least. <laughs> I did remember that. I was a little tired yesterday, all right, when I was uh, when I was recording the footage. But uh, we are spawning around B cup, and given that our destroyer is over at sea, I'm going to make myself useful and head over into B cup. Who do we have with us? Uh, that is the lion and the Prince Ruprecht. I think the lion was a bot, so... Uh, AP, for those of you who are not familiar with cruiser, with cruiser with the cruiser AP rules, the AP is very good on these ships. The HE isn't bad, but the AP is where the fun is at. Uh, destroyers, around about six, 5 to 6 kilometers... Uh, if you drop below 5 to 6 kilometers, you're going to have to start switching to HE because you start over-penetrating. Anything above that, AP is the weapon of choice. Now the AP on these American uh, cruisers can hurt quite quite significantly, even against battleships. So you don't necessarily even have to weak spot target because the precision on them is not the greatest. They are more about uh, just the rate of fire. Anyway, we haven't spotted anything to shoot at yet because we don't have we only have 11 kilometer range. There's something, and most of the time uh, that is a bot Freddy. Let's see if I can lob this maybe through the. Uh, no, I can't get through the uh, through the spokes there. Uh, we do have a Christopher Colombo over there, so shots out of that thing. 
And we did have a lion over there as well. So we do have to be somewhat, uh, somewhat cautious. Uh, lion is not the most well armored, but somewhat cautious with uh, enemy fire coming in. So we'll see. We'll see if we can, given that the lion is busy, is otherwise occupied and there come the inevitable Yodo torpedoes. Was that the Yodo? Probably. Uh, we're just going to unload at that unsuspecting lion over there at maximum range. Now you've got two choices. Either you can go for the damage or you can go for the fires. Uh, both are good choices, but against a relatively low uh, low armor target like the lion, you're you're actually better just aiming for the deck and uh, and going for the deck of superstructure damage here. Um, Prince Heinrich has sonar, so he doesn't need my sonar. I've only got two charges to see those torpedoes, but uh, um, the lion is somewhat melting under fire there and is coming under fire as well. There comes the citadel, yeah, <laughs> and that isn't even with the APCS, so. Uh, Definitely uh, Yodo fully broadsiding. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the rapid reload on the Yodo now and uh, and see if we can get that thing out of the way because that is a dangerous ship and Lion is is just out of range and I don't want to poke my nose out further because then I'll be in range of the Christopher Colombo over there who I do not want to tangle with if I don't have to and uh, the Yodo is being crossfired plus he can't well he can't unbroadside himself because there's an island in the way <laughs> So I am in a perfect position. The lion is outside my spotting range. I've got the island between myself and Yodo, which means I'm unspotted and I'm just unloading at that thing from uh, from a distance. Now I am detected because Yodo's gone forward far enough. Uh, Yodo obviously has torpedoes, but um, I, well, hasn't launched them around here. So lion, lion and Yodo. And here comes the range problem again, because now I'm too far away. I'm unspotted obviously, but now I'm too far away. Uh, that I can't actually shoot at anything, so I'm gonna carefully poke over. Where did that Christopher Colombo go, by the way? Did he sail north? Because I have, he hasn't been spotted in a while. Um, actually, there he is. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> oh crap! Uh, panic! <laughs> Manual aim, deck plating, AP, <laughs> rapid reload, go go gadget, <laughs> go go gadget, main guns. Now this is where I really could have used the um, could have used the sonar because this is a Christopher Colombo, so obviously he is going to he is going to go uh, to smoke up in a second here. And uh, unfortunately, uh, I, I can totally sit at El Colombo from here. So. In, under normal circumstances, if I had been able to actually see him in the smoke, uh, I would have been... Where is he? There he is. Somewhere there. Uh, and I'm coming under fire from, I think, the Yodo or the Lion as well. Uh, I, I would have shredded this thing to bits if I could have seen him, but... Um, okay, that's too high. Uh, we want to aim deck, not uh, not into the superstructure, but my, my sonar was on cooldown, unfortunately. So, But we've, we've survived. Bow in. And... Um, uh, I would have tried to outmaneuver him if it wasn't for the Yodo still being alive and having torpedoes out there. So as it stands, thank you for uh, to the Prince Ruprecht for, for the assistance. As it stands, uh, we have shredded the Christopher Colombo anyway. Uh, don't panic if that kind of thing happens. Uh, be, be bow in. Ah, oh, hitbox, come on. <laughs> There's nothing there. Uh, okay, sonar up again. See if Yodo has torpedoes away because I am going to have to go around the island here. To, uh, to clear the, the hitbox. And uh, what was I saying? Yes, so uh, very, very, very dangerous ship, even against battleships at close ranges, because if you've got the rapid reload on, these, these guns are absolutely shredding at close range, uh, in, in close range engagement, engagements against battleship. And there comes the heal. So even with, uh, with regular heal and with a, uh, you're still making, you're still rebuilding a lot of health here. And uh, Yodo appears not to have launched torpedoes, or they just haven't made their way here yet. Oh no, there they come. Uh, yeah, thanks for pushing me into the torpedoes. It's all right, I'm just gonna take one or so. Uh, no, I've got, I've, I've taken two. It's okay, uh, there's probably more torpedoes in the water, but I want that Yodo dead. Uh, we are four on four, and we're holding two of the capture circles, but uh, this, can, this can still go either way. So we have to kill that Yodo. I don't know whether, oh, there's the lion. Okay, Yodo needs to die. There are still torpedoes. Oh, come on. Die already, will you? Uh, there's, yeah, there come the torpedoes. And uh, my damage control is still active because Yodo is now dead. And that means this... Uh, but that means I have to be a little careful with the line. Because if he's firing high explosive, I could be on triple perma and that would kill me. So we're going bow in. And then we are reversing. And then we will try our best to swing the ship around. And yes, he is firing high explosive. Okay, just one perma. 
that could have been worse. Uh, but uh, I've got another heal coming off in uh, 25 seconds, so I should be okay. And uh, I think Lion has stopped again, so I'm going for manual aim for the for the deck plating. They can superstructure shots here. And yes, he's still firing high explosive, but I am fully bow in, so he's completely missing. Which means I have survived this, and uh, that means the Lion is now dead from the friendly Colombo. That leaves... And there comes the heal, and you're back to half hit points. And this is even without the <laughs> premium heal. Uh, there's still stuff out there somewhere, but uh, I think this is about as much as we're going to be able to do. So, uh, yeah, typical Des Moines. <laughs> Absolutely AP shredding everything. Um, anyone there? Anybody? Hello? <laughs> Where are you at? Ah, oh, there's Wooster. Hello, Mr. Wooster. Uh, anyway, battle's over. And... Uh, that would have, of course, been an insta-fire from the Wooster. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the Salem for you. Uh, the super heal is great fun if you manage your health correctly and don't overextend thinking that, oh, I can just heal it back because you're still only a cruiser at the end of the day. But uh, how, what have we done? 120,000 points of damage, yep. And uh, two Citadels and we have... Uh, yeah, we've had fun. So, same story again. Uh, we are in the Salem, this time with the Historical Camo and with Halsey, where I forgot to put the um, Master Reloader skill in, unfortunately. So, uh, that that's going to hurt my DPS a little bit. But uh, we are facing a, a Black uh, Kurfürst, Preußen, Yamato, Nevsky, Yodo, Z and a Smallland. Relatively, relatively well-balanced teams, actually. But I don't think I've ever played on the Sleeping Giant map, so that's a first for me here. It's a domination map battle, which I am very grateful for, and the new maps tended to be relatively island heavy, which is good for a ship like the Des Moines. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's plenty of islands. So battle for this is th these are nasty for battleships. These are just plain nasty because uh, you you can't go if there's anything with torpedoes around, you can't go anywhere near the capture circles. So um, you know, the best you can do is sail around the outside of them. Anyway, uh, I've got Shimakaze with me, so we'll be heading over into Sea Cup. And there is a handy island in the middle of sea, which is a good torpedo defense. Now, I don't have a radar, but I do have double sonar from the battlefield support skills. So, uh, by the way, I've probably played about 10 test games all in all. I have not seen a single carrier. I don't quite know what's going on, but uh, nobody seems to be playing carrier at the moment. Not that I'm complaining, mind you, but no, if I'm in an AA ship, I would have loved to actually try it, but oh well. Uh, following the Shimakaze, who goes un very uncharacteristically for Shimakaze for the for the capture circle, and there's the Z52. Shima has spotted him. Hello, Mr. Z, who has counter spotted the Shima, but was not aware that uh, Shima wasn't alone. So sonar up, uh, just to see where the Z torpedoes are coming. And there is also a Nevsky out there that I've got to be careful about. But the Z is the bigger threat right now. Uh, Shima has smoked up. I'm not sure if Nevsky, Nevsky has radar. Can't hit Z right now, so I'm gonna go for um, I'm gonna go for the uh, HE against the against the Z. Not yet using the rapid reload because he doesn't have uh, he doesn't have angles, and uh, I don't my my sonar is now on cooldown, so he is he is running the sonar, which isn't gonna help him because you know, I know where you are. You can't torpedo me from there. If you want to torpedo me, you're gonna have to come out of there, and if you are not coming out of there then I'm safe. This is, of course, highly risky, because if the Z is deciding to rush me, I'm using the secondary is trying to determine where he is, but if the Z is trying to rush me, then uh, this, can go, this can go sideways pretty badly. But I do have the super heal, and uh, like I said, I like to play it more risky. Okay, I'm not spotted. Yep, he doesn't see me. Hello, <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> I mean, I was obvious that I was still here, right? Uh, he has no torpedoes, un torpedo angles, rapid relo uh, reload up. And yes, he has to come out because he's cross-fired. And no, you're not going to survive that. <laughs> and the Yamato actually takes him out. Okay, uh, I could have done that. That's fine. And uh, taking a bit of damage there from the Nevsky, who uh, obviously is in a much better position now. But uh, thanks, Yama, for the help. I I'll appreciate it anyway. Let's just uh, get back to full health while we're while we're relatively safe here. And uh, yes, Nevsky just had to stay behind the island because he was unspotted there. And he could have HE spammed the Yama to death. But uh, he decided that he needed to go. But I think I've now with the other destroyers. Yep, there's the Smallland. Hello, Mr. Smallland. I am in a cruiser. You're in a destroyer. Haha. <laughs> and I have a sonar ready. So uh, 
Uh, and you are sailing in front of the island, sonar up. And uh, oh yeah, Smallland gets gets smoked, doesn't it? I forgot. Uh, okay. Anyway, we're going for uh, we're going back for the high explosive again. There come the torpedoes. Obvious torpedoes are obvious. And uh, where are you? Okay, you sailed out. That's fine. You're dead anyway. And come on, next salvo will get him. That's the thing with these guns. By the time your shells have made it there, they're already reloaded. So back to the armor piercing because that's a dead. Sm oh come on, really? <laughs> All right, now but now he's a dead Smallland. Um, is he? There we go. <laughs> okay, uh, and back to the high explosive because now we only have three battleships and the Nevsky left. And the Nevsky is all the way up at the other edge of the map trying to deal with the Yamato. But B Cup is not under our control. And uh, there are a couple of battleships left which uh, for obvious reasons have not, try have not gotten near to the capture circle. Hello Yamato, you look flammable. <laughs> And as long as I'm staying outside the detection range, you, I mean, you don't even know who's uh, who's spotting Yama. Oh, it's the it's the destroyer over there. You don't even know uh, who's shooting at you. Now, obviously, Poison is spotting me. I hadn't calculated on Poison. Poison nasty. So, uh, rapid reload up. Yama is oh Yama does, Yama just Damaconed. Uh, let's get a couple shots out at the Poison, but then I want to retarget Yama and see if I can get some perma fires going on that thing. Obviously. Uh, blind firing over the island there. I ah, can't quite lob that, but uh, the island's getting smaller and Yama is coming out. So let's go for the perma fires. There's one. And this is where, like, you think a Wooster was nasty. <laughs> I mean, yes, it is, but uh, this thing too uh, can, set, can set quite a fair few fires. That's uh, the second perma fire. And once he's, once he's all saturated, then we'll switch back to the armor piercing. For now, we're just uh, gonna be doing some high explosive damage, setting some fires. There's another perma fire. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just what we do, you know? There's another perma fire. <laughs> he didn't have a chance. He didn't even do something bad. It's not like he damaged on a single fire or anything. Take a bit of damage there. Just keep the island between myself and the poison and keep burning down the Yama while uh, there's another perma fire. Uh, and I think at this point I'm gonna switch. Okay, he just damaconed. Um, yeah, I'm back on armor piercing for now. Uh, let's unload it. Ow, that was the poison. Yeah, uh, okay, let's heal that back. <laughs> uh, fortunately, I wasn't poking out the whole way. And again, the island hitbox has kind of screwed me over there because I thought poison wouldn't have shots at me. But, uh, okay, let's go back to high explosive and uh, finish off the Yama because that's another perma fire. That wasn't even me. And now we're just adding insult to, insult to injury here. And the Holland actually gets him. All right. That means now that the Yamato has been dealt with and the Nevsky is actually still alive. Hmm. Uh, Poison or Nevsky? Well, I'm going to go around the island and I'm going to deal with whoever I can get, whoever I get to deal with. Either of them should not be a massive problem because uh, we'll just see if I can get through there to get some shots off at the Poison. Hello, Poison. I know I could stay here, but that'd be boring. Uh, see if we can get a fire going on him. That's a fire. And hello, Mr. Nevsky. Rapid reload up. Uh, interestingly enough, Yama has had trouble with this thing. But uh, not so much for me. Uh, I've, I'm in a heavy cruiser. Uh, thinking things like the Nevsky is literally what I'm designed to do. So that thing's gone. Which means we can now start back unloading at the poison and switch back to the high explosive. And uh, we'll just have to get the... Well, unfortunately, we don't have a rapid reload anymore. But uh, yes, that's a full health poison. Uh, nope, that's not going to help him. <laughs> Because <laughs> first of all, we only have 30 seconds left. And second of all, uh, he is sailing behind an island, which means he can't shoot over it, but I can. <laughs> so, uh, yep, I'll take that. And uh, let's just go for another fire here. And uh, obviously I'm now sitting on broadside to a poison, which is a terrible idea. Yep, there comes the shot, but I'm already reversing. I'm already turning in so that mostly sails harmlessly over my nose. And I've already healed back all my hit points anyway, so... Um, uh, still collecting a little bit of fire damage here. I would have finished off that poison if uh, if the battle hadn't over, hadn't ended. But this is the sort of uh, this is the sort of pi firepower you have in a Des Moines or in a Salem. So uh, which of the two is better? Um, neither of them. They're both good. I would say they're both equally good. Uh, Des Moines doesn't get the super heal obviously, but does get the legendary module for extended range and uh, gets a monster monster AA. In return, the Salem gets uh, two sonars and gets the super heal, but the AA is a bit garbage and she doesn't get the range extension. Uh, both excellent ships, uh, both, but both really uh, in today's meta, especially if you're playing on, say, Asian server in some battles. Not like this one, but in most battles people just sit back and 
um, I shoot you from 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 cup line. Uh, you do need to kind of invest into things like historical camel, and maybe uh, with the Salem, probably I would say use the premium heels as well if you have them. You don't need to buy them for gold, but if you have them laying around anyway, this is a good ship to use them on because you can really stack uh, skills on the super heel. Uh, slide question with the with the commander skill around the uh, fourth rapid reload or the uh, the 15% hit points I would go for the 15% hit points here and yeah don't do what I did and forget to use the master reloader skill not a really good legendary commander in my opinion for this ship uh, no matter where where you're looking because most of Halsey's special skills work really well when you're on low hit points <laughs> Which is kind of contrary to the whole idea of HP tanking and then just healing the ship back up again. So uh, still, it's a good ship. And if you don't have a Des Moines and you want a premium, or if you have one and you just want another one, uh, absolutely is a great ship um, and uh, great fun to play. Uh, I've, I've personally got my fully decked out Des Moines. I just don't have the APCS yet on, on the captain, I think. I might have to double check. I haven't played her in a bit. But uh, I have got my fully decked out Des Moines and I'm quite happy with her. But uh, this is a good ship. So if you see it, in the enemy team, make sure to sink it because it's dangerous. And that's it for me today. Thanks everybody. And I have managed to do this whole video without a single burn the witch <laughs> joke. I just realized that. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.